Carolina State Council's virtual council. This is day two, and if you're just joining us, we're so excited to have you. This is our Friday night service. We often call it our Friday night alive. We're so excited because this is the opportunity where we all come together corporately and we worship and praise the Lord. During the day, it's great because we get great content, great information, but our evening service is always power packed because we have our music and sacred arts department. We have worship, word, and fellowship, and it just takes everything to a higher level and a higher dimension. And so I'm so excited. Before we get started, I want you to share this broadcast because I want this to go all throughout the world. I want everybody on your timeline to know that the North Carolina State Council is doing some great things. My name is Roger Green Jr. and I'm your host throughout this virtual experience and we're going to have an amazing night tonight. Our very own Bishop, our diocesan Bishop, Bishop Marion E. Wright Sr. is our speaker tonight, so you know that you're in for a treat on tonight. But before we get to the word and before we get some, to some of these preliminaries, let's go into our cyber sanctuary as our music and sacred arts department leads us in the, into worship under the direction of our music and sacred arts director, Pastor Maurice Wright, and our lead praise and worship leader, uh, Pastor Adrian Wright. And so we're going to have a great, 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 great time in the Lord. Like, share, comment, enjoy fellowship with the saints. I know it's not the same being virtual virtual as it is when we're in person. We'll get back to that soon, but for now, I want us to engage in the comments. I want us to praise the Lord as if we're there together, regardless of where you are in your home, watching it on your tablet, your smartphone. I want you to enjoy it and let the worship and the praises of the Lord go up so strongly that we worship God in the beauty of holiness. So now without further ado, let's go into our cyber sanctuary as our music and sacred arts department sets the atmosphere and leads us into worship. Let's go. Come on. Give me some energy here today. Come on. He's a great Jehovah. He's a great Jehovah. And we praise and worship him. And we won't stop praising him. Let's go. Na, 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 na. See, you are God. And you're in control. Seated high. You're the Lord of all, great I am, sovereign ruler, lion of Judah. You are God, and you say, you God, hey, seated high. Seat high, you're the Lord, the Lord great I am, I am. Sovereign, ruler. sovereign ruler, lion of, lion of Judah. you are, you one are more time. God. Hey, city, you are, hey, seated high. high. You're the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, great I am. Hey, Lion of Judah, you are. Listen, things will change when we call on that name, great to hold the Things will change. Things will change. Oh, when we, call, when we call on that name, great Jehovah. Things will change, will change when, we when we call on that name, on that name. great Jehovah. Things will change, Things will change yeah, when, we when we call on that name, on that name. great Jehovah. Everybody clap, yo! Let's dance and sing here. Yeah. Let's go. Hey. From the top here. Let's sing together. Come on. Say, sit you I got God, and you've been and you're in control. Seated high. Seated high. You're the Lord, you're the Lord, 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 Lord. Great, I am. Great I am. Hey. 
in love, Judah. You are. One more time. Hey. Say that you are God. Hey. Hey. And you're in control. See the high. Great again. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Say the lion of Judah. You say. Hey. Things will change. When we, when we call on that name, on that name. great Jehovah, mm-hmm. things will change, will change. When, we when we call on that name, on that name. great Jehovah, Three things, will things will change, when we call, when we call on, that on that name, great things will change, will change. When we, when we call on that name, on let's go. Name. Great Jehovah, say great G. Great Jehovah, you're good and we won't stop praising. Clap your hands in your kitchen, come on. Say. Great Jehovah, we love you and we won't stop praising. Say great Jehovah. week my family woke up at four o'clock in the morning to my whole house flooded hey upstairs and downstairs full of water we had to evacuate and the contractor says that we may have to be in a hotel for about a month I had every reason not to be here (laughs) a lot of things going on (laughs) But the Lord told me while I was trying to clean up some of the water, he said the same God that was good yesterday (laughs) is the same God that's good right now. He said, Adrian, I'm always good. And because he's always good, he always deserves a praise. (laughs) He never stopped being good. And so I'll never stop praising him. Come on. And we won't stop praising. We won't stop praising. Yeah, 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 yeah. We won't stop praising. Yeah, 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 yeah. We won't stop praising. And we won't stop praising. 
praising. Said I can't stop praising. I won't stop. I won't stop. I won't stop. I will bless the Lord at all times. And this praise shall continually be. Never and ever, forever and ever. In the good times I will raise him. And we won't stop praising. And we won't stop praising. Everybody watch him, everybody watch him. Oh, 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 say oh, say it.
Everybody move to the right, let's go! Woo. Come on! Come on! Wherever you are, move! Yay! <laughs> we won't stop praising. We won't stop. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Won't stop praising. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, God. I hear a word. I hear a word. You ought to praise him into your next promise. You ought to praise him into your next promise. I'm going to praise him into my next miracle. I'm going to praise him into my next house. Hey, hey, help praise him. Hey, help him praise him. <laughs> you ain't really praise him. You ain't really praise him until you praise him in the middle of a problem. You ain't really praise him until you praise him in the middle of a problem. <laughs> and the old people said, don't wait till the battle's over. Yeah. <laughs> but shout now. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, I gotta go. But they didn't shout after the wall fell. They shout in order for the wall to fall. <laughs> My praise is going to bring down the wall. My worship is going to bring down the wall. My God, I'm going to worship the wall, God. We lift you high. We lift you high, God. Thank God. Everything else is low. We lift you high. We lift you high. So that we lift you high. We lift you high. We lift you high. We lift you. We lift you, we lift you, we lift you high, hey. with all that we have, we lift you high, hey. Lord, from my heart, Jesus, to your heart, Jesus. From my soul, Jesus, to who you are, Jesus, from all that I am, to all that you are, so all of me, Lord, to all of you, we lift you high, your way, your way. We lift you, we lift you, we lift you high, everybody sing, we lift you high, make it real sweet, make it real sweet, we lift you high, hey, Lord, we take this time to lift you high, we're not in a rush, God, 
We're not in a rush, God. We live to earn. That's what we came to do. We live to high. That's what we're here for. We're here for your glory, oh glory. Your glory, Jesus. We lift you high. We lift you. We lift you high. Hey, we lift you high. Oh, we lift you high. Yeah. We feel your glory, Jesus. We lift you high. Yeah. Yeah. We lift you. We lift you. You're at a nine, yeah. Oh God, you're El Shaddai. Oh God, not by yesterday, yeah. You're El Roy, yeah. You're called not by yesterday, yeah. You're Jehovah Jireh. Oh, you're Jehovah, my shepherd. Hey, Roma, you're Jehovah, just a new God. Yeah. Oh, God, you're Jehovah, Elroy. Roma, you're the you are the El God. You're my healer, my healer. You are my banner, God, yes. When I'm in war, you're right there with me. You're Jehovah Shalom. You are my peace. You lift you high. We lift you high, Yahweh. We lift you high, Yahweh. You're the self-existing one. There's nobody like you, nobody like you, nobody like you, nobody like you, nobody like you. No, 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 nobody like you, Jesus. Hey, can't talk about you today, yeah. Rabbi Yassendia, you sit alone by yourself, by yourself. There's nobody that created you. You're the self creator Jesus. Rabbi Yassa, you gave yourself your own identity. You are the self existing one. Oh God, we know you to be all powerful. Yeah. You're, you're omnipotent, uh, you're omniscient, uh, oh God, you're everywhere, uh, you're omnipresent, uh, Yahweh, we lift you high, higher, 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 Everything else is low. Worship. Everything else is low. Everything else is low. Because God we live too high. My problem is low. But Lord, we live too high. My situation is low. Cancer is low. <laughs> Diabetes is low. Poverty is low. Sickness is low. Depression is low. 
We lift you higher, 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 higher. Oh God, we lift you high. Let go. One more time. Let's go. Hey, we lift you high. Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, We lift you high. Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another virtual council session for the North Carolina State Council. I know you've been enjoying all the awesome ministry and word that's been going forth. And now is the time of our virtual council where we want everyone to be involved uh, as we continue to get through this unusual season. We need your support. And so to help us out on today, you have three options to give to the council. The first option is to go to the council website, www.ncstatecouncil.com. Dot com. At the top of the page, you'll see an option for online giving, and then you can click the yellow donate button. You can also get via Cash App at dollar sign NCSC580. And finally, you may give by phone by calling 910 864 2881. We thank you in advance for your liberal giving, and we hope you continue enjoying this virtual council setting. God bless you. Praise the Lord. 
We are so glad again to be in service, to be assembled, to receive from the Lord. We are on day two of our North Carolina State Council, our annual session, the July session, and we've been having a wonderful time, and we have now come to uh, the uh, Friday evening service, and that is special in and of itself because we have the opportunity to have ministry from our Honorable Dawson. But before I present him, because he needs no introduction, um, but I want to um, just acknowledge how the Lord has blessed us uh, throughout this day and our programming. And again, I want to appreciate the staff. We have such an excellent staff. Uh, here in the 58th Episcopal District, and I want to appreciate them in their respective places. Won't take time to call them by name because I don't want to miss anyone, but I want the staff to know, all the officers to know, and the constituency of the 58th Episcopal District, how essential it is to have you participating as you do so that we can have the kind of excellence within our council. But we had a wonderful day. We began as we usually do with our prayer clinic. And today it was led by District Elder Angelo Williams for our 11.30 a.m. prayer clinic. And he taught under the topic by the power of God. And keep in mind the, the theme under which we have been ministering and our programming has been governed um, is that which our diocesan has given us preparation for victory. And uh, District Elder Williams uh, taught by the power of prayer. And then followed by the prayer clinic, we uh, received ministry uh, from our Dawson Bishop again in the second Bible class of the council. And his topic was by accepting God's plan for success, preparation for victory, by accepting God's plan for success and then uh, followed in the afternoon for our auxiliary sessions uh, first we had our men's ministry uh, led by president dr stephen height and their theme for their session was by renewing covenant vows preparation for victory by renewing covenant vows and we are grateful for uh, the time that they had, and their speaker was Elder Kenneth Lawrence. So we praise God for the men's ministry. Then uh, uh, this afternoon as well, the uh, North Carolina State Council Minister's wife, the president is Lady Arletha Dobson, and they did a special tribute to all the pastor's wives, the pastor widows, and just a wonderful occasion of giving honor to whom honor is due, our Dawson Bishop had remarks appreciating our pastor's wives, and we commend, we commend uh, the minister's wives for this endeavor because um, the, the pastor's wives, they are, uh, are expected to do a lot, and they do a lot, and we want them to be appreciated, and so we commend, again, the minister's wives for doing this great tribute. And we want to thank the praise team under the direction of uh, Pastor Maurice Wright in bringing us wonderful ministry of music, and praise dancers. We thank God for you. And we're now ready to hear from the Lord. Of course, we have a prince of preachers. And our speaker, our da awesome bishop, is always our Friday night speaker. And I might point out that this year will be uh, the 10th year anniversary of Bishop Wright serving the 58th Episcopal District as our Dawson Bishop. It was in August 2011 in the city of Orlando, Florida, that the executive board of the Pentecostal Seminars of the World transferred our bishop from the diocese that he was then over, I think it was the Northern Philippines, to the vacancy that we had in North Carolina because the Lord called our first Dawson Bishop in the person of Bishop Everett C. Roberts from his labor to rest. And Bishop Wright was assigned to be his successor. 
And for 10 years, he's given us excellent leadership. And we know that he's anointed of God because we have witnessed, witnessed it repeatedly. Please receive tonight to hear from the Lord through our Da'asan Bishop, the Honorable Bishop Marin E. Wright Sr. Say to him as he takes the podium, preach the word, preach the word, preach the word, Bishop Wright. Now I'm going to ask you um, to please uh, stand, take your Bibles in your hands. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Everyone, please stand. Take your Bibles in your hands. I have two passages of Scripture that I want to read in your hearing on today. Um, the first one is found in Acts chapter 4 and verse 11 and 12. Second passage we read as our scripture text is found in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 19. Praise the Lord. We will read Acts chapter 4 first and verse 11 and 12. I shall read. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Turn now to Ephesians chapter 1 and verse number 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us ward who believe? Please take a note of that. To us ward who believe. Not to everybody, but to us, Lord, who believe. According to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. The right hand of God is his power. Verse 21 far above principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. That's a far-reaching name. And have put all things under his feet. Every name has a personality. Praise God. And have put all things under his feet. And gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Which is his body. The fullness of him. That filleth all in all. Glory to God. I want to use for a theme today the theme of his name. The theme of his name. Bow your heads with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, send forth a heavy anointing today. Speak with power and authority in the name of Jesus. Help every hearer to pay close attention to the word that is for them. For this word will touch and reach every soul who's wanting and needing 
to hear a word from the Lord. Open their understanding that they might understand and receive the truth of your word on today. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. You said that we ask anything in your name that you would do it. And we ask these blessings for Christ's sake. And in Jesus' name, we pray for a great anointing today. In his name we pray, amen and amen. You may be seated. The fame of his name reveals the authority of his name. Everywhere there is power, there is authority. Authority accompanies power. And everyone that has power has authority. Um, but we are talking about an unusual power which reveals an unusual authority. Um, a man has power, authority, over his own household and how he uses that authority will reveal, glory to God, what kind of uh, manager or what kind of person what personality he may have. Some people don't know how to use power. Some people abuse power. But to rightly use power, you have to have the faithfulness of the Holy Spirit working in you in order for power and authority to be used correctly you must understand, first of all, God. All power and authority comes from God. There's no power or authority in the earth, glory to God, that is not given by God. And any illegal use of authority, usually that's the devil, Illegal use of authority, praise God, is not sanctioned by God. So we must look for the handiwork of God wherever we see authority. Um, authority and power usually reveal uh, your name. There is no real power without a name. There's got to be a cause or reason for power or authority being given. And where the power and the authority comes from must come from uh, a source that has the right and the ability. You got to have power before you can give power. To anyone else. You have to have authority. To give authority. To someone else. And. What you should realize today. Is that all power comes from above. And this power. Is in God's. Hands. Now uh, when we speak of God. We are speaking of. His. Eternal being. That means that God has no beginning. He has no end. Hallelujah. He is eternal. And his name is eternal. His name is not just for this time. It's not just um, here and then vanishes or goes away whenever, um, you know, it is no longer in use or when, uh, when he dies. Or, and, and, and we know. Glory to God, that the God we talk about 
is a God of truth. He's also a God of authority. And he has the authority, praise God, to even give life. No one can give life but God. No one can give life but God. He is in control of life and he is in control of that which uh, is the sensation of life. You um, can't die without your purpose being fulfilled. God will never create you without a purpose. And so we must understand that all things are in his hands. Now, that being known, I want you um, to know that a name is without fame, without power. A name is without fame, without power. If a name has no power, there can be no fame. Show me a nobody who everybody's talking about. Praise God. Yeah, that, that doesn't exist. Praise the Lord. So um, a name is without fame, without power. So the power, the authority, gives credence to the name. The, uh, the, the authority of a name, the power of a name, um, is given by the demonstration of that power and that authority. In the beginning, the Bible teaches us that uh, Satan beguiled or deceived Eve. And she took of the fruit that God said, of the tree that God said that no man should eat thereof. And the day you eat thereof, you will surely, what? You will surely die. Now the devil comes along and he tells a lie. And that's how he operates. He operates with lies. And he told a lie and said, no, you won't surely die. Did God say, did God say that? God knows better than that. God knows that you're not going to die. You're not going to surely die. But it will make you wise. You'll be wise like God. You will become a God. That's what Satan lied about. Praise God. Uh, Satan is kind of like Trump. He, oh, I didn't need to get it. Well, anyway, um, he continues his lies. You know, he doesn't have to be in the church. He doesn't have to be in your congregation to lie to your saints. Praise the Lord. He's out of office, but he's still lying. And get got everybody, you know, uh, afraid to tell the truth. If you're in the Republican Party, you've got to tell a lie just like Trump wants you to, you know, or you might not be elected the next time. And so many people want to stay in power until they, they, they will do what they have to do. They will lie. They will, you know, degrade themselves and, and, and people will just lose their integrity. People will just, you know... <laughs> degrade themselves just to have a position or a, a authority or power to stay in office, to be in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the White House or to be in the Capitol uh, uh, building, to be in the Senate, to be in the House of Representatives. Praise God. Because people love power. Now, you know that's the truth. Now, and people also love fame. They love the praises of Men rather than the praise of God. You know the scriptures. They would rather hear the praises of men than to have the praises of God. Glory to God. But I, I, I like the way God testified about Job. Have you considered my servant Job? Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's a man uh, that eschewed evil. A man that fears God. A man, glory to God, that stands in righteousness, glory to God. And 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 have have you have you tested him? Have you tried him? I've never seen a man like that. Satan said, "I don't know anybody like that." I've tried up and down in there. I've gone up and down in the earth. I haven't seen a man like that. Glory to God. And he said, "Now, but if you show him to me, you must be got a hedge built around him. But if you show him to me, I'll make him curse you to your face." 
And the devil used all of his power, all of his lies, all of his authority. He thought he knew man. Glory to God. And sometimes the human condition, you let the human condition get the best of you. And when the human condition gets the best of you, when you allow your flesh to teach you rather than the spirit of God to lead you, you are in trouble. Praise the Lord. Now, let us look then at what men call fame. Let's look at what men call fame. Now, on yesterday, um, you know, three of my favorite people were inducted into the National Basketball Hall of Fame. Praise God. Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, And Kevin Garnett. Amen. Oh, I keep up now. Thank you. <laughs> These guys. Along with nine, uh, along with nine uh, of them who have been selected, some of them coaches. But um, these three guys, praise the Lord. Now, why do you think they were, e were elected to be in the basketball hall of fame? Was it because they were mediocre players? Were they B-class players? Were they bench warmers? A and came in the game, you know, when, when, when you got two seconds left? You know? You know, were they those kind of players? Not so. If you are inducted into the Hall of Fame, first of all, you have to be retired for four seasons, four years. Glory to God. You have to be retired, fully retired. You can't be playing no pickup games either. You got to be fully retired. Praise the Lord. And, 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 and then <laughs> you have to qualify. Um, you have to get at least the minimum of 18 votes from the honors committee. And, 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 and at least 18 in order for you to be considered. Now, when they consider you, they look at your record. To see what you did that was outstanding. If you did nothing that was outstanding or the only one or the first one or the third, you know, one. You see, you, 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 you can't be considered like that. But if you are outstanding and you were an outstanding player, you had, you, 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 you had the, the highest um, scoring record. or may, maybe, you, maybe you won five rings, five championships, and you were responsible, mainly responsible for those championships. Praise God. Now you have a right to be considered into, into the Hall of Fame, the Basketball Hall of Fame. Praise the Lord. Now, what do you think then about Jesus? A man that takes control of the entire world, the universe. Glory to God. He comes into being. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he comes as a man. He didn't come as an angel. He came as a man for a reason, for a purpose. Now, he, he was greater than Kobe. Now, I know some of you, don't, don't, don't get mad. Don't throw tomatoes up here either. No eggs. Praise God. But he was greater than Kobe. Thank you, Jesus. And you notice that they called him by his first name. Everybody else was, you know, Duncan and, and Garnett. But they say Kobe. When you are known by one name, Oprah. When you're known by your first name, you don't even have to call your last name. They say Oprah. And everybody, yes, I know her. You don't know her, but, but you know of her. Because a lot of people are talking about her. Even you, you're talking about Oprah. Praise God. And you don't talk about her weight either. You, you talk about Oprah. Praise the Lord. Because of her fame and what she has done, what she has accomplished, you know, as, as a, a powerful black woman. Thank you, Jesus. That means something. Now, what does it mean then when it comes down to controlling the entire universe? When you came into the world, 
And it was a miracle and miraculous thing, a miraculous event. When you came into the world, everybody was talking about you. Kings were talking about you. Wise men were looking for you. Glory to God. And you um, came in in a mysterious way. You, you, you came through the womb of a virgin. And, and you know that's going to be questioned. You come through the womb of a virgin. And, 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 and you claim that your name was given by heaven. The angels came from heaven and gave your name to Mary, your mother, and also to Joseph, her husband, not his spouse yet. And he heard that name in a dream because it usually is the man that names the child, especially those sons. My God. And he said his name shall be called Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Come on now. Now, when one man can save the world, hallelujah, can, can actually uh, remove that which you did uh, years ago and it stayed in your genes, it's down in your uh, the, the psychic of your mind and, and it's down in the, in, the, in the crevices of your fiber and the fiber of your being is in your blood, it's in your spirit, it's all over you, glory to God. And that thing, you couldn't get rid of yourself. And there was no man that could help you. There was no woman that could help you. There was nobody that could cure you of your sins. And you were born in sin, shaping in iniquity. Uh, you, you couldn't do better if you wanted to do better. You tried to do better and couldn't do the things that you didn't want to do, you find yourself doing. Glory to God. You don't want to do it, but you know you're find yourself doing it in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And so I came to let you know today that uh, there is an authority that's in the name of Jesus and it is only in his name. There is no other name. You can use the name of Buddha and get saved. You can use the name of Muhammad and get saved. Your sin's not going to be washed away if you are Hare Krishna. You can be a Jehovah Witness and get saved. Glory to God. You've got to know the power and the authority of the name that is above every name. Shout glory. Ah, oh, thank you, Jesus. And so now we need to understand that God gave Jesus all the power and the authority and the fame of his name. And you had to have an unusual characteristic. You had to have some attributes that was not common to men. But yet you had to be a man. You couldn't come down here as an angel and, and, and faking that you are a man when you are really an angel trying to be like man to deceive the devil so that you can save man. No, no, that couldn't be. If you're going to save man, you've got to be a man. Glory to God and no man can save a man unless he's God. But if you're going to save a man, you got to be a man to save a man. He can't be justified uh, in you being an angel and you saving the man uh, from his sins. Um, well, you don't know how it is to be a man. Uh, how can you save a man? You don't know what he's going through. Uh, how can you save somebody uh, and you don't walk in their moccasins? Uh, how can you know what a person is going through uh, and you don't get in their shoes? When you're not in their situation, I've heard people say you have to 
oh, I know how you feel. You lying. <laughs> you don't know how I feel. <laughs> well, I lost my mother too, but yet you don't know how I feel when I lose my mother. <laughs> somebody shout hallelujah, somebody. <laughs> Glory to God. And so, in order for God <laughs> to save man, <laughs> he had to first of all become a man. <laughs> now, don't be trying to fake it, my God. <laughs> you got to be a man. Uh, hallelujah. But how can a man uh, save a man and he's not God? Uh, when it takes God to save a man. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, what is going on in here? Uh, there is an anomaly. Uh, anomaly. Glory to God that's going on. Uh, there's a mysterious happening. Uh, how can this be? Uh, and God came and spoke to a virgin. Uh, glory to God. Uh, and said, Mary, uh, oh, I have chosen you. Uh, I select you from all all women in the earth and I want you glory to God to know that you are unlike any other woman in the earth because you have been chosen to bear the son of the highest the son of the of God almighty and you will bring forth a son and his name shall be called Emmanuel what does Emmanuel mean Emmanuel Emmanuel glory to God God with us his name shall be called God with us hallelujah how can God who is spirit become flesh hallelujah how can God who is spirit become a man how can God who is spirit have a man who's flesh come on somebody and every banana glory to God can only have a banana an apple can only bear apples apple seed bear apples orange seed bear oranges glory to God a hippo he can only or she can only bear a hippo thank you Jesus but God gave it to a woman to bring forth a man and it takes a man, hallelujah, to impregnate the woman so she can bring forth the man. It takes the seed of a man, hallelujah, to um, um, ovulate the, uh, the, the, the egg, to, to, to um, fertilize the egg of the woman to bring forth a man. So the man and the woman got to get together. Glory to God. But Mary was not married. She was not married. And how would it look for a Jewish girl to be having a, a, a baby and not a husband? You know what they're going to say about her. They're going to stone her. They don't want the, nobody in, in, in their family coming up like that. Long ago, back in the day, we didn't want that either. Uh, glory to God. Back in the day, it was a shame. The girl would stay in the house. Uh, they would send her up to Rochester, to New York somewhere. Glory to God. Uh, to, to hide the fact that she was pregnant. Um, she would ban herself down and put on ropes and, I mean, uh, tight girdles and do, do something. And, and it did to hide, to try to hold the baby down. Uh, glory to God. I can't see your faces, you know, with the mask on. But anyway, keep your mask on. But now, I want you to understand glory to God that when you have a situation like this you know something miraculous is about to happen something outstanding something that will bear the name of fame somebody is about to be talked about for the rest of their lives somebody is going to be criticized for the rest of their lives somebody's going to be trying to find fault with you 
for the rest of your days. That's the way it is when something unusual happens. Oh, I come to tell you today that it is important that we take note of what God is trying to tell us on today. He's trying to tell us, glory to God, that in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, we see uh, that uh, the scope, the Old Testament scripture attests to the fact uh, that God alone is our savior. That is that Jesus must be God if he alone can save us. In Isaiah 43 and verse 3, um, I am Yahweh, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. God said that 400 years before Jesus came. You got to know that there's something strange about a God who knows into the future. He has... He doesn't have to look back to find the truth. He doesn't have to, <laughs> glory to God, only be present to know the truth. He can speak into the future and tell the truth in the future. He is a God who foretells and he can forecast. He can tell, glory to God, he can foretell the future in the future. He knows the news and Jesus is good news. Hallelujah. Joy to the world. A savior is born. Hallelujah. And so um, um, the writers of the New Testament refer to Jesus Christ as savior. In Titus chapter 2 and verse 13, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our savior, Jesus Christ. You notice that? He, he was called the great God and our savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself, glory to God, and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. Glory to God. And only God could have done that. And John said it this way in the first epistle of John, chapter 4 and verse 14. John said, and we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Did you get that? The Father sent the Son to be the Savior, but yet no one can save but God. Glory to God. And God did not separate himself. Glory to God. But God came himself. Hallelujah. God did not separate from himself. He became, glory to God, God who had not been a man became a man. God, in the, in the beginning, the word was God and the word was with God and the word was God. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word that was with God was God. And the God, hallelujah, who was the word became flesh. He was not God with flesh. He was God that became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth. Glory to God. He became God and the God that became man was God and so therefore we must know that God who was not 
who had not been a man became a man to save man. Only when we understand this truth, only when we accept this fact, hallelujah, only when we accept what John said can we understand the, the not and know that God has authority and the power of God is given unto Jesus Christ. Jesus is the man who was called God. Jesus is the man that was called God. In John chapter 5, verse 17 and 18, verse 21 through 27, we see this fact. Turn to John chapter 10, and let's look at verse 30. We're almost through. Come on. John chapter 10, and let's look at verse 30. And it reads as follows. And I, I and, I and my father are one. This is St. John chapter 10 and verse 30. I, this is what Jesus said, it's written in red, I and my father are one. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That word spoke himself into existence. And that word that was God became flesh. Notice how his flesh became how his word became flesh. He did not, he was not made from the dust of the ground the way Adam was. Adam was made in the image of God, but he was made from the dust of the ground. But now see now, God who was made flesh, glory to God, he didn't come from the ground. He spoke himself into existence. The word that was with God was God and and the word that was God became flesh and dwelt among us. Hallelujah. Did you get it, brother? Glory to God. The word that spoke himself into existence. Glory to God. Was made flesh when he got in the womb of Mary and came out as a child. Called his name Jesus. So that child that was called Jesus became a man. And that man died at Calvary. And came and went to the grave and died for us and went to the grave and whipped up on the devil, knocked his teeth out, broke his back, and took away the keys of death and hell from him and came back from the grave and said, all power in heaven and in earth is in my hand. All power. Mm. Did you get that? All power. All authority in heaven and in earth is in my hands. All authority is in my hands. I got all power in my hands glory to God and he told his disciples now you go go ye therefore and you teach everybody everywhere in this name hallelujah and baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost and is a conjunction that connects three or two agreeing thoughts but is a conjunction that connects um, to opposing thoughts. Um, but he said, and, 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 the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Two or three agreeing thoughts. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Father and Jesus were one. <laughs> I and the Father are one. You got it? Come on now. Let's read it. And verse number 31, then the Jews took up stones against, again, to stone him. They took up stones and this man calling himself God. We can't have this. We're looking at him. He's a man. And we know that God is a spirit. How can this be God when he's a man? We can see him. Come on now. Come on. Stick with me. Glory to God. Jesus answered them. Many good works have I shown shown you from my father. You don't get into the hall of fame now if you hadn't made a name for yourself. You got this? Kobe made a name for himself. That boy practiced and he practiced and he practiced. He played alongside Jordan. 
He took Jordan, glory to God, uh, as his mentor. And Jordan was looking at him, uh, getting information from him too. So there's two great guys together. Glory to God, hallelujah. And I believe that Jordan uh, was somebody. Glory to God, coming from North Carolina. Yes, I'm going to say it. Hallelujah, coming from UNC. Yes, I'm going to say it. Thank you. I believe he was the greatest. Oh, Jesus, he made a name for himself. But there is not fame without a name. There was no other name that can match with the name of Jesus. No other name can claim the fame. Oh, I feel poetic today. <laughs> no other name can claim the fame that Jesus' name did. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Um, so let's look at this now. In verse 33, look at this. For, uh, and Jesus, no, in verse 32, for which of those works do you do ye stone me? Verse 33, the Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blaspheming, and because that thou, being a man, maketh thyself God. It doesn't read that way in your Bible. Glory to God. Those people knew what Jesus was saying. If you're going to say you and God are one, you know, you're saying you God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you see me, you see the Father. How sayest thou then show us the Father? I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, Jesus said. He said, well, yeah, Jesus, well, show us the Father. Jesus said, you're looking at him. He said, have you been so long, have I been so long time with you, and yet thou hast not known me? He that has seen me has seen the Father. Now, Elder Wright, or Bishop Wright, or Pastor Wright, or, or Brother Wright, go with God. Why do you keep preaching the same thing every Sunday? Let me tell you, because y'all don't have it yet. Mm. Glory to God. Because until you accept this, glory to God, you're not going to understand what I'm about to tell you. Until you accept this, the authority of his name, until you accept this, the power of his name, and who it is that you are talking about when you mention his name. Why would he tell you anything you ask of the Father in my name? I will give it to you. Come on now. He didn't talk about all these pouring all, all over everything. Go with God and fasting for two weeks. Go with God. I just can't give up food that long. I just want to tell you I don't have to fast for 40 days. I don't have to do like Jesus did. I don't have to try to do like Moses. I don't have to try to be like anybody else. But my God said, the one who had a name that was above every name, the one, hallelujah, the one God who had one name, the one God who had one name, hallelujah, he told me that anything I ask in his name, that he would do it. Man, I wish I could preach. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, I feel something now. But I'm just going to talk to you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, y'all pray for me. Jesus, Jesus. I love calling that name. I don't know how you feel about it. But I love calling that name. Because in the name of Jesus, there is power. There's power. 
power in that name. And those disciples, they had to get it, glory to God. They had to know it for themselves. And for 30 long years, after the church had already started, Matthew didn't write his book until 30 years after the church got started. Don't tell me, glory to God, that they were baptizing in the name of the Father, the titles, Son and Holy Ghost. For 30 long years, they preached and taught in that name. For 30 long years, glory to God, they were antagonized. They were whipped and scorned. They were put in jail for preaching and teaching in that name. But God wanted them to know that you're going to be tempted. You're going to be tested. You're going to be tried. But I just want to know, are you ashamed of the name? Glory to God. I know I died a terrible death. I know when you want to shame a man, all you got to do is strip him naked and hang him out before everybody to let all the ladies and let all the men see his nakedness. And Jesus was strung out on Calvary's cross, but naked. Glory to God. They stripped him of his garment. They stripped him of his loin clothes. They stripped him naked. He died. Glory to God. But he didn't die in shame. And he didn't die in vain. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that somebody who heard him speak, they heard when Jesus said, if you believe in me, glory to God, you shall never be made a shame. If you believe in me, you shall be saved. Any man that believeth in me, if the sun set free, is free indeed. Somebody say, I feel my Holy Ghost coming on in here now. I stop by to let you know that that name had fame. That name had power. That name had authority. And every demon that heard that name, the demons trembled when they heard that name. Glory to God. When God call you out, when the disciples call you out, you have to come out, you demons from hell. And in my name, everyone that believe in my name, you shall cast out devils. You shall speak with new tongues. You shall take up serpents. And if you drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt you. You shall lay hands on the sick and they shall be recovered. Somebody say say yes Lord I stop by to let you know that those disciples when they were filled with the Holy Ghost that same Holy Ghost that you got that same Holy Ghost that I have the same Holy Ghost that Bryant got that same Holy Ghost that Kevin has that same Holy Ghost uh, that Francis got uh, that same Holy Ghost uh, that Sophia got uh, that same Holy Ghost uh, that John and Kevin uh, and uh, and Michael uh, and Joanne and Elaine and uh,
<laughs> and I have too. I stopped by to let you know that same Jesus, that same Jesus lives in us today. And when Peter and John were going into the temple at the hour of prayer, come on somebody. Glory to God. They saw a man that was laid at the gate called Beautiful. And he asked in arms of them because he was crippled. He couldn't walk. Glory to God. But he needed some money. He couldn't work. But he needed some money. And he reached out his cup. And Peter and John looked on him. They didn't have time to fast and pray. They didn't have time to say a long prayer. They didn't have time. They were on their way into the temple at the hour of prayer. And Peter and John never wanted to be late for prayer. They were on their way into the temple at the hour of prayer. So Peter said, look on us. Hallelujah. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I unto thee in the name. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. He grabbed him by his right hand, snatched him up, and immediately his anchor bone received strength. He leaped up and began to praise. The name of Jesus. Glory to God. Precious hearts. Hallelujah. 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 And that name, that name, that name. Glory to God. And that man followed them on in the temple. Peter and John, they didn't turn around. They went on in the temple because they knew they were going to pray. Hallelujah. When he got in the temple, the man that was healed was standing by them, clutching. Glory to God. Holding on to these people who healed him. Glory to God, he thought. Hallelujah. So we didn't do this. And he said to all the people that were in the temple, why are y'all looking at me as if by our power and our name that this man is healed. He said, I didn't use my name. Right. Nor did I use my power. Y'all got the Holy Ghost? We all have the Holy Spirit. Raise your hand. Thank you, Jesus. I hope y'all got the gist of this message. You know what it is? God transferred that power. That was in his name when you received the Holy Spirit. The Father will send the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, in my name. That's what Jesus said. You have his name. That same authority is in you. These signs shall follow them that believe. Are you a believer? Welcome back. 
What an amazing word from our bishop, our diocesan, Bishop Marion E. Wright Sr. I'm so excited that you had the opportunity to hear the word from the Lord. I pray that that word grows in your heart and I pray that it convicts, convinces you and changes you. It gives you the ability to grow exponentially in grace. And I'm just so excited because we are fortunate to have great men and women of God here at the North Carolina State Council that give us great content, give us great word, give us things that we can learn and grow from. And so what I want to do is I want to make an appeal right now. I want to let you know that we have prayer warriors here that are waiting and standing by to pray with you. If you have a situation that you need prayer for, you need some intercession going on for your behalf. If you need salvation, if you haven't experienced a new birth salvation, according to Acts 2.38, you can speak to someone and God can save you. He can heal you. He can deliver you. He can set you free. You can read at the bottom of the screen here. You see the number uh, that you can call our prayer line. And we have those there waiting from our evangelism department to pray with you and to pray for you. And I just want to encourage you to do that. It will be the greatest and best decision that you've ever made. And I want you to also join us tomorrow for our programming here at the North Carolina State Council. It will be day three, our concluding day of festivities. The Lord has a full slate plan with Christian education, with the Young People's Auxiliary, and, and a host of other things that we'll get to on tomorrow. So again, don't forget to tune in immediately following this service. Our young people have an after hour celebration that you'll be blown away with the gifts and the talents that the young people will display immediately following. They'll have singing and dance and, and those that are giving testimonies and spoken word. A lot of other things that you'll be amazed with how God has gifted our young people. So tune in and as well share that so that everybody on your timeline will see that as well. And then on tomorrow, I want you to tune in because our Christian education department as well as our young people department will pick up tomorrow with some great content that will be a blessing for you and then we'll close it out with an hour of power where our council chairman suffering bishop maxi dobson will be our speaker so until tomorrow i pray that your night is full of joy and happiness and i pray that you rest well and and we'll see you on tomorrow here at the north carolina state council